The man arrested after police say they found an arsenal of weapons in his car faced a judge in Queens criminal court today. All right, 27 year old Judd Sanson has been charged with multiple counts of criminal possession of a weapon and has been remanded into custody. Fox 8's Kendall Green is live in Kew Gardens with the very latest. Kendall. Hey, good evening, Steve Natasha. We don't know what that plan was, but it's clear now that he had a plan. Authorities, they found writings that included his plea for forgiveness from God. 27-year-old Judd Sanson facing a judge in Queens Criminal Court just one day after police discovered a massive arsenal of weapons in his SUV Wednesday, which included troubling messages. The writings were, you're going to learn today, left me no choice and ask in God for forgiveness. So you put that all together. We do believe that the charges are valid. Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz updating reporters on the charges Sanson now faces. He is being charged with gun possession, CPW, two charges. He faces up to 15 years in prison uh, if he is to be convicted. CPW, short for criminal possession of a weapon. This is Sanson's first arrest on record in the state after police recovered weapons in his vehicle, which included a 9mm Glock, 9 loaded magazines, heavy body armor, handcuffs, NYPD uniform items, two stun guns, multiple knives, and a weighted whip. He had, which I find extremely concerning, an NYPD bulletproof vest and a transit reflective uniform which as we know in the city of New York really gives you access to almost anywhere you want to go. A pair of uniformed officers were in unmarked cars patrolling the area near 86th Street and Dittmar's Boulevard around 1 a.m. Wednesday when Sanson's blacked out license plate on his truck led to his arrest. The NYPD says ghost cars, vehicles with obscured license plates, have a common link to more serious crimes. Shootings, robberies, burglaries, home invasions, their method of transportation is a vehicle, sometimes stolen vehicle, and I would say about 80% of the times they have a license plate cover. Now again, if convicted, Sanson faces up to 15 years in prison. That's the latest from Kew Gardens, Queens. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Very well. All right, thanks, Kendall.